Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. It's the 2nd of March. Yeah, my lord, 2023. It is Make Jesus Famous Month at Hope for Today. And we're basically trying to stir our hearts about three specific areas that are on God's heart. Therefore, they should be on our hearts. So all week this week, we've been talking about the beauty of children, the worth of children, the sanctity of children, the innocence of children, and what it looks like for you and me, whether you're young or old, rich or poor, how if children are on God's heart, maybe they should be on your heart as well. I think our children of our world need our attention now more than they ever did before. I speak of satanic and occultic rituals on the stages of the Grammys. I speak of media and commercials that you can't even watch safely with your children anymore. I speak of uh, frivolous oversaturation of LGBTQ lifestyles that our children are constantly bombarded with as opposed to the traditional vision of gospel families that we see in scripture. Children need us. And that's why we're talking to you today. I want to talk to you if you're a parent today. I want to talk to you if you're a grandparent or a great-grandparent. I want to talk to you if you're a big sis or a big bro. I want to talk to you if you are a mentor or a disciple maker as to one thing the people that you're mentoring truly need if they're going to succeed in their life. It comes from the 127th number of Psalms. I'm in the third verse where the psalmist, and Solomon here, says, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb, a reward like arrow, in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. And then verse five says, blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Solomon here is given a metaphor of our children, that our children are a heritage and a gift from God. Verse four, he says, they're like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Verse five, he says, blessed is the man or a woman who has their quiver filled with them. And essentially the vision that that he gives of children or grandchildren are the people that we mentor, the people that we shepherd, the people that we lead, the people that we supervise, is that apparently our job is to train them to be weapons in the kingdom of God. Who am I talking to today? That yes, her job is to love and yes, her job is to nurture, but ultimately her job is to prepare our children for a dark world that needs Jesus. That's the job of a parent. That's the job of a mentor. I was thinking about this. There's a song in the 80s, and I wish I could sing, but I'm going to sing it anyway. It was by the fabulous Thunderbirds. Had a good old-fashioned blues rock and roll riff. Bang, 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 bang. Ain't that tough enough? Bang, 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 bang. Ain't that tough enough? Bang, 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 bang. And I think that's what I want you to hear today. Sometimes I don't think we are tough enough with the people that we're trying to raise up in the admonition of the Lord. Don't hear me say harsh. Don't hear me say being a jerk to kids is the right way to go. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if you're going to prepare them for a tough world, sometimes you got to give them tough love. If you're going to prepare kids for a tough world, sometimes you got to give them tough love. Bible here says that there are arrows in the the quiver. Translation, you're not supposed to be keeping them with you all the time. You're supposed to be preparing them to be shot away. Amen? And I just want to talk to parents real quickly here. Uh, One of our problems is that we don't raise kids to leave. And so they stay. Because we don't raise them to leave. And so they stay. Because we don't raise them to leave, and so they leave and come back and stay. Because we don't raise them to leave. What does it mean for you and your mentorship and in your disciple making and your parenting to show some tough love? I'll close with this uh, uh, true story or true reality of eagles. Uh, eagles, of course, live high atop the cliffs and the big trees. And eagles, of course, get pregnant as they do, and they have their eggs, and they raise up their little eaglets. And after a few weeks, when the mama eagle deems that baby eagles are ready to fly, what they do is for days on end, the mama eagle starts to hover over the nest while the little birdies are looking at mom. And mama eagle begins to, for days on end, just flap and hover and flap and hover and flap and hover. All the while, the little Baby eagles are chewing on a worm thinking mom has lost it now because she's just flapping and hovering and flapping and hovering. A few days later after this, all of a sudden, mama eagle starts pecking her beak, 
pecking her beak, pecking her beak against the flesh of the eaglets, and they feel the sharpness of the beak pressing them out of the nest. And then what literally happens is that Mama Eagle begins to take the eaglets one by one in her beak and in her talons, flies them over into midair and drops them. She, she literally drops them. And the scene is one of an eaglet who cannot yet fly falling. And now that they're falling, and now that they've been kicked out of the nest, the eaglet starts to think things that he's never thought before. I'm falling. I'm falling fast. My mama ain't coming to help me. I got to figure this out. Sometimes good parenting <laughs> is giving some space for our kids to fall to force them to have to figure stuff out. And you can imagine as the little eaglet is falling that apparently he harkens back to what mom was doing last week. Oh yeah, wait a minute. I've seen this before. Mom was hovering, trying to show me something. And finally, they flap their wings and learn how to fly. We need to have what's on God's heart on our heart. And God wants you to be trained up so you can fly. So maybe said of you that you trained up others so that they can fly. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.